okay today we'll be discussing about the basics of supervised learning so if you remember from my previous video so we have uh, divided this whole machine learning world based on separate different different approaches right on the sol solving a particular problem so in supervised learning if we if we unlock it we'll get this kind of view where so this is the whole flow of a supervised learning so and and this is true for any kind of supervised learning okay so where we have a training data set okay now the data set is labeled i will explain you what uh, the labeled uh, is so then uh, first let us understand the whole process then we will talk about that now the training data set has been now we feed into a learning algorithm okay so now it is the job of this learning learning algorithm to understand or to learn from this training data set okay and create a hypothesis what do we mean by hypothesis is it's it's a kind of mathematical object or mathematical structure okay by which will help us to solve the or to get the desired output you want okay and this hypothesis is actually nothing but we call it model okay now when the hypothesis has been created that time you can give a new input to this model and it should estimate the corresponding output okay now based on the output type the whole supervised learning can be subdivided into two other parts called either it can do some kind of prediction work this that means suppose you want to predict a stock market price right or you want to predict a housing price for a particular particular area okay that can be done that means the output is basically a continuous uh, variable output right and now or it can be a classification type output suppose given a picture what is the picture uh, about like it's a whether it's a apple or, or or whether it's an orange so that kind of classification can be done so that means the output is from a finite set right so so this is uh, so so if you see this uh, output types so generally this prediction and classification types of problem we can we can solve using supervised learning right now let's talk about the training data set and i said label right what do we mean by label so to do that what i'll do is i I have actually downloaded a file we will be using this file for our linear regression tutorial okay so this is a graduate admission data set i downloaded it from the kaggle so if i show you this data set so it's a very simple data set where we have for each and every candidate their corresponding gre score 12th score and the university ranking from which university they are coming up and the sop uh, like you know when you apply for any foreign university right? you need to write an sop right what is the sop quality out of five zero to five okay uh, and they are uh, cgpa values whether they have done the research or not and whether they have any kind of recommendation or not okay and the recommendation quality as well in terms of zero to five and if you see this all the data is this all the data with this data is, is the chance of admit so basically the data whatever is saying based on all this independent variable try to predict what is my chance of admission okay what what is the percentage basically so if you see inside the training data itself i have this particular column as well that means when i have, i will be using that model when we'll be using this training data to train the model i'll i already have the output over there as well so that the model will try to learn from this structure and come up with a hypothesis of its own so that whenever you can whenever we were giving a new gre score it can try to predict the chance of admit properly okay so that's the intention behind the supervised learning so that's why this data set also called labeled because we already know in the training data set the exact output okay so and we are also feeding that data to the model okay so this is the one uh, very distinguished factor between a same uh, a supervised learning and unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning this field will be missing where we will try to 
uh, we will try to generate some kind of uh, pattern in the data in unsupervised learning just only with this input data okay there will be no it, the data is actually unlabeled in kind in unsupervised learning process okay so now if you think uh, i okay i have actually generated a diagram over here using r so let me show you that okay so this is a scatter plot diagram so the x axis is the gid score i have taken just only single column okay uh, and then i plotted the chances of admin okay i got this uh, scatter plot so let us talk briefly about what we do in prediction kind of problem right so to do that what i'll do is i'll open this one into paint okay so what i am saying suppose we are trying to we are talking about a linear regression or prediction type of problem right linear regression is one of the algorithm for that we will discuss very extensively on that so if you see uh, now as i said these are all the different different independent variables right and this is the dependent variable on that now basically we are trying to find the correlation between the in, uh, independent variable and the dependent variable now it could be possible that a very simplistic term the there could be a single independent variable and our output okay this is a very simplistic possibility of a supervised prediction problem or there could be multiple uh, independent variable and all of which will basically govern the output okay so based on that the prediction problem can be again subdivided into simple prediction or simple linear regression we'll talk about linear regression and the multiple linear regression multiple feature linear regression we call it feature different different independent variables are called as feature in um, in uh, machine learning term okay so so let, let's talk about the simplistic possibility here so we have only single feature and we have our output right so in prediction problem basically what we try to find we try to find a let's a curve or it's a line single line so suppose something like this okay so let's say if i fit a line which will go through this data okay now how to fit a line and what are the factors governs that line okay we'll discuss very ex extensively when we'll discuss about a linear regression okay but the idea is to to fit a line for prediction type of problem or fit a curve it's based on the data okay so again if you see there is a another subdivision we can do so either we can fit a line which is called linear regression or we can fit a curve something like this curve right which we will call polynomial regression over there based on the data and how accurate the model is representing the data okay so now if you see if you can fit a line let's say okay then it is very easy to know for a new data set or new input what will be the my chances of admit because the equation of the line will give me the actual output right so this is the fundamental nature of um, any any kind of prediction problem where we basically try to generate the equation of a line or curve which will best fit the data okay we'll see how to do that let's talk about uh, so before i before i move to classification problem overview uh, so so the linear or the prediction problem so the problem statement would be like given a gid score what is the what is my chance of admit right so this kind of problem if we if we have if you if we from the data set if we are, if you want to solve this kind of problem we can think about supervised learning and then their prediction model okay now let's think about in different way the same data data set okay so let's say i have my gr score okay and i analyze that and i found that if my chances of admins are greater than 7.7 .7, that means 70 percent then i will apply i will try to apply and see my luck over there okay otherwise i will not apply so this kind of problem leads us to a, a this structure over here this structure where i subdivided this whole data set 
into two groups where the red ones actually giving me a all the data points where my chances of admins are less than 0.7 and the green ones are basically telling me where my chances of admins are greater than equals to 0.7 okay 70 more than 70 percent so my intention is to the model should give me an indication whether i should apply or not if you see over here the model output is basically is basically one of these two right either apply or not apply that means a finite set finite set which has having two values right so this kind of problem we can think about as a classification problem okay now to give more example suppose you have tumor data right and you want to know based on that data the tumor size and all the tumor is benign or malignant okay this is another kind of classification problem right so in the classification problem let's let's again open this one in no um, in paint okay so in the in, in linear regression uh, in prediction problem we fit a line to the data right now in the classification problem we cannot do that okay i think i opened the same file let's let me open the another one open with paint 3d because i need to know the boundary basically over here right something like this so if i if i just draw a rough boundary something like this over here so this line basically telling me wherever your scores are falling behind this one okay there are very less chances that you should apply but if your score is falling on this side of this line there are high chances that you should apply if you see over here in classification type of problem the behavior is little bit different we are still generating a line or a curve which will not fit the data which will basically govern the boundary of the different different classes it can have right so so basically in the both both um, prediction and classification we are still doing some kind of mathematical calculation that means this hypothesis using this learning algorithm we are coming up with this hypothesis now this hypothesis is little bit different for prediction little bit different for classification prediction we are fitting the data classification we are basically creating the boundary which will segregate different among different different groups or classes we have okay hopefully i am able to give you some kind of intuition now in next few videos we will deep dive into this linear regression the main leaf will start with the regression problem and we'll discuss about different kinds of linear regression regression is nothing but the prediction problem okay so um, we'll discuss about different different algorithms so we have like linear regression we have polynomial regression we have lasso regression okay we'll discuss about them we'll also we will continue doing that using the classification as a classification we have a lot of algorithms we'll discuss about and we'll also discuss about how those algorithms are differ from each other okay and while doing that we'll be using uh, this graduate admission data set for regression or prediction related problems we'll be using a very interesting data set which also i downloaded from kaggle we say is it's a titanic data set uh, let me show you this is very interesting data set so this data set actually hold a lot of information about different passenger ids they survived or not what class that means first class second class third class what class they belongs to their name sex age okay and then their ticket number or other information from this data the ask is to determine okay based on this input data what passengers should sur survived or not okay we'll we will we will see this one as a classification problem okay so hopefully this overview will um, give you some kind of information about what we are going to discuss in future and also now i will start um, uh, doing some kind of um, uh, uh, video for r and other software i will be using i will be creating small small um, uh, videos for that whatever we need 
to implement those those algorithms we'll try to discuss that and I'll, also i'll share some kind of uh, materials with you so that you can dig it through more okay so mainly in this machine learning video we will try to understand the inner infrastructure or inner implementation of different algorithms if we understand that implementing this one with any any kind of softwares um, if you remember from my previous video we just need to know in that software how to implement that right so our approach will be just to understand the better way the different algorithms okay see you in next video